So leaders describe the future, answering the question, where are we going and what will it be like when we get there? They craft and communicate a strategy, answering the question, how will we get there from here? Because we're over in present reality right now and we're trying to get to future vision. How are we going to get there? And then they delegate the strategy and the activities that need to happen to make the strategy come true and make the strategy effective. They delegate each of those parts to competent and deliberately selected people. The next thing that a leader must do to be effective is to create accountability to results. So let's say that we have these assignments here and Sam is responsible for sales and we're having the weekly meeting, weekly uh, results meeting in our company here and we have some type of a dashboard. We have some type of a chart where we say, okay, here's our, uh, here's our chart, here's week one, here's week two, here's week three. We say, Sam, you're responsible to make 20 sales calls a week. And so we take a look at our results and we say, Week one looks good, you know, 22 sales calls, everything's on track. Week two, not bad, got to 19 or so, understandable. Week three, okay, got a problem. Not only do we have a negative trend, but we're significantly below the goal here. We're down to maybe uh, 15 calls by now. And the leader has to address this situation. The leader has to look at this and say, are we going to pat Sam on the back and say, good try, we understand, let's move on to R&D? Or are we going to stop and say, Sam, we need an explanation. You're supposed to make 20 sales calls. You only made 15. This kind of situation comes up all the time. It doesn't mean that Sam is trying to do a bad job but it means that the strategy and the vision are at risk. If we don't execute each part of this strategy successfully most weeks, we're not gonna get there. So the leader has to stick up for accountability to results and say, Sam, can you explain what's gone wrong? Why weren't you able to make those calls? This can be uncomfortable. It can be awkward. Um, it doesn't have to be negative, but it's very important. So skills that a leader needs in this, uh, this step of creating accountability would be honesty, the ability to tell the truth and say, Sam, that's not meeting our goal, and we need to know why. Um, guts, to tolerate uh, asking a hard question, making somebody uncomfortable, not always fun. And um, the ability to um, back up accountability ultimately with consequences. Probably a lot of other abilities we could list here, but those are the three that um, I've chosen relating to accountability. That ultimately, if we get to week four and the trend is getting worse and there's not a very good reason a question is going to have to be raised about whether or not Sam is the right person for sales, whether or not Sam should be on this team. So, very important, leaders create accountability to results.